Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Change Your Perspective, Change Your Awareness, Change Your Life. I'm Dr. Michalina, and we are talking today about intelligences, right? Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences, um, which has been around since 1998, right? So it's about 20 years of this theory, which I like. Like I said, I learned in my um, my first master's, my master's of teaching. I learned all about it, and it really stuck with me even a decade later over a decade later. And so um, we've covered linguistic intelligence, new uh, number intelligence and spatial intelligence, right? I think spatial was the last. And so today we're going to talk about bodily kinesthetic intelligence. Okay. Um, and so people who use their body well, that they like can contort it or manipulate it or, um, use parts of their body to solve problems or make things happen, have a high bodily kinesthetic intelligence, right? And so um, when we, a lot of times we see this in arts and entertainment, more so than some of the other places, perhaps, right? Like they have performative skills, um, they have the ability, and by they, I mean people who are bodily kinesthetically intelligent, um, they have the ability to, I mean, really connect mind and body in such a way that um, their body does almost whatever the mind tells it to do. Or more than that, the body almost takes over so the mind doesn't even have a chance to interfere like think about a gymnast right they throw their bodies all over whatever they're doing right whether it's uneven bars or rings or uh, beam floor doesn't matter what it is a gymnast's body will contort to perform the routine now a normal person not normal no somebody who is like very in their head let's say myself a linguistically intelligent person, I'm thinking all the time, I'm not going to lose myself in my body like that. Like there's no way in hell that I'm going to think about flipping my body over and being comfortable with it. No, heck no, no I'm not the one, right? Like it's just not the thing for me. Um, people who are bodily kinesthetically intelligent they use their body as art. You know, they use their body as a tool. They use their body as a machine. Like they use their body really well. And so um, when you think about anybody who like, like David Goggins, right? David Goggins, have you ever heard or seen anything with him? Um, his mindset is so fine tuned. His body is also super fine tuned. Like he is just in it to win it. And so um, there is so much that goes into it. Um, and so it's a body kinesthetic kind of intelligence. He knows how to use his body well. He knows how to use his mind to get his body to do exactly what he wants it to do. And so the things that, a, that bodily kinesthetics people who are intelligent in bodily kinesthetic type intelligences, um, they're very good at like physical coordination, coordinating things physically um, with their with their bodies. They have a lot of like skill and dexterity. They have a lot of skill and balance. Maybe they're really strong. Maybe they're really flexible. Uh, they don't necessarily have to be all of those things, right? A bodybuilder is going to be bodily kinesthetically intelligent in the strength of a thing. Whereas like a ballerina perhaps is going to be bodily kinesthetic in a way that is like having to do with flexibility. So there's different types of ways, depending on the outlet, depending on the avenue, different types of ways that this intelligence can manifest, you know, um, being body smart has to do with I don't, I don't want to say 
I don't want to say a haphazard disregard. That's what I keep thinking. I don't want to say that because it sounds kind of negative and it's not, but it, it does have to do with like a trust. Here it is. A trust in yourself and your body and your mind to such a degree that you can kind of throw a little bit away your self-preservation. That's what I want to say, right? Because bodily kinesthetic people kind of lose a little bit their self-preservation. Like if you look at a bodybuilder that's like repping, you know, they're putting themselves in physical danger on every set. If you look at people who play football, they are literally chucking 350 pounds of muscle into the air and just kind of like landing on that body. You know, there's a, a somewhat of a disregard, even like swimmers, you know, they are putting themselves in a position where they could drown if they don't do right what they are supposed to do with their body. Skiers. Anybody who is like a high level body kinesthetic learner or having a high level of body kinesthetic intelligence has this really cool, low key terrifying ability to put their self preservation to the side and put themselves in what could very well be perilous conditions. Which I think is admirable. I think it's really cool. Um, I think it's a little bit terrifying, you know? Um, it also has to do with them knowing their limits really well. It's like this take, give and take of I'm challenging myself to do better than my last rep, let's say, but I'm not over challenging myself where I'm putting myself in a dangerous situation. It's like, I know my body so well, I know exactly what it can handle. That's really bodily kinesthetic knows its body so well, it knows what it can handle and it can handle a lot. And so potentially people who, who are bodily kinesthetically intelligent, you might've really loved gym. You know, you might've really loved things that have to do with being physical and, and being physically involved in things. Now, again, it doesn't only have to be arts or entertainment. There are other physical things that bodily kinesthetic people can do. Like trade stuff is bodily kinesthetic. Carpentry is bodily kinesthetic. You're working your body, you know? Um, potentially even like some level of mechanic. That's not necessarily always the case, right? Like, cause they have to have technical understanding but they like physically are like using their body to figure things out, move things, move tires, move little tweakies, like all types of stuff. So bodily kinesthetics, even think of people who are like FedEx drivers or UPS drivers, right? They're, they're physically moving their body. They know the limits of their body to what they can and cannot lift, carry, move, pack, pull, right? So this, this skill set has to do with knowing your body, using your body, understanding your body, understanding its limits, understanding where to challenge it, um, using the body to produce productive things or to solve problems um, or to help other people solve problems, perhaps like a physical therapist or a chiropractor or um, someone who's a rehabilitation, like an occupational therapist, an OT. They're using their body, masseuse, right? Those are all bodily kinesthetic professions, things that are, again, not disregarding their body per se, high level athletes and things do that, but using their body to make things happen, which I think is very cool. I am not including sex workers in this, by the way, that's not a body kinesthetic intelligence. That's, it's not, that's different. Um, that's not bodily kinesthetic intelligence. That is a dancer, yes. Somebody who is like, like a stripper is a bodily kinesthetic intelligence for sure. I mean, that's an art. It's, it's why there's so many like stripper dancing pole exercise routines now. You have to be physically fit to do it. But actual like sex work, like having sex or engaging in sex, that's not bodily kinesthetic. And I, and I actually, I hope that's a different, right? Like being an escort or being a prostitute is not bodily kinesthetic, but being a stripper, being an exotic dancer is.
because this one takes skill with your body. It takes movement of your body to produce something different. And this, not so much, right? And so people who have bodily kinesthetic intelligence, they probably really loved gym. They probably really love movement. They probably really like things like perhaps yoga or um, stretching or boxing or any kind of, um, not physically stimulating, but like fluid type, fluidly stimulating, movement based type of interaction. And so if you didn't realize that that's an intelligence, it is. And so maybe you were like, oh, well, the only class I liked in gym, uh, in school is gym. Great. I love that for you. You've got a lot of options. It means you're bodily kinesthetic, intelligent, more than likely, right? And if you are not, if you're like very clumsy, you're, you have no coordination, you don't have flexibility, then it means you're probably not bodily kinesthetically inclined. And that's okay too. Like any of these, you know, you can always work on them, but m more often than not, you want to cultivate your natural intelligence and just be aware of what's not your natural intelligence, right? And so um, if that's new for you, if you had no idea that even existed, um, I, I hope that that's informative. I hope that that's helpful. I hope that you haven't been selling yourself short thinking you're not smart or good at anything because you are, right? You definitely are. So that's the bodily kinesthetic intelligence and it, it has to do with movement and body and using it to your advantage to solve problems and to make things happen and to be creative and artistic and productive. And so with that being said, I hope you're enjoying this series. I'm enjoying bringing it to you. If you are ready for next step in coaching, go ahead and, you know, we're on YouTube. So you can shoot me a message. You can shoot a comment. You can go to seasonsandsigns.com and book a discovery call. We can talk about coaching. We can talk about enrolling in the academy, which I uh, highly suggest. It's, it's a great first step if you're just starting to, if you like this kind of a format, it's a great first step for you because you don't only get my teachings, you get other coaches as well. Mind, body, leadership, soul. I would suggest it highly. Um, it is, I don't wanna say it's a minimum input for maximum output, but it's kind of geared to do that. So. Consider that seasonsandsigns.com. Otherwise, just keep watching here, grow the channel, tell your friends, and I will see you on the next video.